Hello everyone, I'm Driftwood and welcome back to learning Game Maker Studio 2. In this episode, we're going to learn how to create sounds, how to change their volume, and how to change their pitch um, with code in GML. And we're also going to learn how to use Audacity to clean up our audio and create our own sound effects. So um, I'll play the game that we've got here and I'll show you the sound effect that I've got for my laser, which was just a very quick test. But it sounds really goofy. It sounds really goofy. So we're not going to use this sound effect. We need to replace it. So let's look at the code first. So to shoot our lasers, we're doing a conditional statement that's saying if we're pressing the left button and our laser cooldown is zero or less, then we're going to do these three lines of code to do our sound. So the first line of code is audio underscore sound underscore pitch. And then uh, the first argument parameter of this is going to be what sound are we going to change the pitch on? So you type in your sound name that you called, uh, whatever you called it over here on your sounds. We're going to create, we're going to get to creating new ones in a second. <clears throat> so you do that as the first one, then a comma, and then you put uh, in the next one, let's see what parameter is it looking for in the next one. I think it's just the, the pitch you want to change it to. Right, oh, that's checking random range. Let's check uh, right here. So uh, an index and a pitch. Yeah, so you put a number. So you put the name of the file and then you put a number. And basically uh, the number one is its regular pitch with no modification. And I believe it'll go up to two. I haven't tried higher than two, but it makes it really super high pitch if you go up to two. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm using random underscore range to pick a number between 0.8 and 1.4 and that's going to give some variance so your sound effects don't sound the same every single time and you can use that code to um, to change it up if you want it to sound the same exactly the same time then you just put a regular number right there any real number actually you don't even need a real number a float value would probably work too and an inline so the next line of code is audio sound gain this is going to basically set the volume on the sound so what I'm doing right here, since it's going to be a sound effect we hear over and over and over, we don't want it to be very loud, so we're going to set the volume of this sound effect to be really quiet. So this code, we'll just zoom out a bit, is looking for an index, a level, and a time. So <clears throat> the first thing, same as the pitch, the index is the name of the file that you're, you're going to be referencing, uh, or the resource in your resources. <coughs> Excuse me. The level is going to be the volume level. So one is full full volume. I'm not sure if it can go past full volume, but I don't want to blow my headphones and I'm not going to try it, but feel free to try it if you want to. Um, so it'll go from zero to one. Zero, you won't hear it. And one will be at full volume. And then the time is over how, over how many frames do you want the sound to reach this volume? If you want it to sort of fade out, then you can put in like 60 frames or 120 frames and it'll fade out to that volume. It wouldn't make sense to do this on a very short clip because you have to take in mind how long is it going to take for this sound to play, especially if you change this pitch. So what I'm doing right here is setting this last one to zero to say instantly. So we're going to set the audio sound gain of this sound to 10% of its volume instantly. And this is also we're putting it right before the play sound. If you want to fade out, you probably have to do this after. You play the sound and then you fade it out. So finally, <clears throat> we've learned how to manipulate the sound. How do we actually play the sound? So the code is right underneath it, audio, play, sound. And you do the index, the same thing as the, the resource name. And then you're going to put the priority. Now the priority is a completely arbitrary number. But basically, it's going to work like if you have too many sounds playing at the same time, uh, the engine is going to, or the, the application is going to cut out the least important sounds. So if you, um, if you want to hear yourself leveling up over than shooting, then you would put your level up sound to be a higher priority than the shooting sound. So you could set this to zero or one right now because it doesn't really matter, um, but I'm just setting it to ten as uh, if I want something to be less uh, important, I'll put it 9 or below. If I want something to be more important, I'll put it 11 or higher. And then the second thing is kind of important. Do you want this sound to loop? 
if you're going to use audio play sound to play like uh, music, you're going to say probably uh, true right here. Or you could also put one. It's a boolean, so it'll accept true or false, zero or one, respectively. And since it's a sound effect, we're making a very short thing. We don't want it to loop. Otherwise, you shoot one laser, and it's going to keep playing that sound effect over and over and over and over and over and over. So we're going to set that to false. And that's basically it. So let's use Audacity. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can download Audacity. And let's create our own sound effects. So we want to create a sound effect um, to basically... Let's close this last one we did. Oh, it's fine. So let's go ahead and pause our music. And we want to create a sound effect for our lasers that doesn't sound so obnoxious, right? So we're going to do something very, very quick, like a little whoosh or boop, 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 something like that. So we're going to change this to 4800. We're going to go ahead and record it. Boop. Something very quiet like that. Um, we can get rid of the background, background noise. I actually want it to be a little bit louder, so let's go ahead and undo that record. Boop. Ah, that's fine. Okay, so here's how we get rid of the background noise. We're going to highlight, and then we're going to go to Effect, and we're going to go to Noise Reduction. So we're highlighting the an empty spot, right? Like a, uh, a spot where you would just have your background, like some microphones have like a little hum or white noise to them. So what we want to do is highlight a section of that, and we're going to click on Get Noise Profile. Now you can use Noise Reduction. You can adjust it. I think it's 6 by default. Um, how much reduction do you want? I wouldn't recommend going over 12, but um, between 6 and 12 is a decent number. I've set it to 9. Sensitivity, you can play around with this number. I've set mine to 6. And frequency smoothing, to be honest, I'm not sure what that even does. I just keep it at 0. What we want to do is reduce the noise. So we're going to get the noise profile. Now that we've got the profile from that, we're going to highlight everything. We're going to go back to effect and do the same thing, except when we go click on noise reduction, we're, instead of clicking on no, get noise profile, we're going to apply that to the whole clip. Boom. And that got rid of some of the noise. So if we were to um, select the whole thing, we obviously don't want it to be that long, right? So we're going to have to clip it a little bit. So we're going to hold down control and middle mouse to scroll in. And that's going to give us uh, a big zoomed in thing. And we'll zoom out just a little bit more to see where our sound is. That's probably perfect right there. So let's go ahead and select this section, highlight all of that, and press delete. Now if you select inside this, this uh, lighter gray box, you'll create an envelope, which you don't really want to do. Which you, maybe you do, maybe you don't. We'll go ahead and try that. I'll probably have to bring this back. Yeah, we don't want to do that envelope, so we'll press Control z to undo. But you can select on the outside bars to highlight. So what we're going to do is select outside of this. Oh, there's more. Okay. So select the outside of that, all of it, and get rid of that. So now we've got this very little kind of very, very short uh, sound effect. But we're going to apply some filters to it. So let's double click on the gray or highlight the whole thing. Go back to effect. We want to normalize that to bring up the volume. So we're going to normalize it. And it might be set to negative 1 decibels. I've changed it to 0, but we're going to remove the DC offset. And we can normalize the stereo channels independently, but we don't want to do that. It's, it's going to be the same thing for this small. So uncheck that. Now it's going to be a lot louder. Boop. Cool. It's about right. But we still can add some more to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a compressor to it. So you can adjust these settings to change the volume and the compression of the, the sound uh, to your liking. Uh, by default, it's not too bad. You might want to adjust the threshold a little bit or the ratio, but it's up to you, whatever you want to do. We're going to throw a little compression. It won't really make much of a difference, Boop. but it will make it Boop. pop out a little bit more. And you could go ahead and play with uh, all of the different sound effects that it's got. We could even throw a little reverb on it. We could do a preview. I think that little reverb will sound cool, so we'll go ahead and try that. Boop. Boop. One thing I also want to do is highlight just the ending of it and do a fade out so it brings this down so it, it ends without a little whoop and it just gets chopped off. It's like whoop. It'll zoom out or it'll like kind of fade out a little bit. Boop. Boop. And it's very subtle, Boop. but it does uh, make a little bit of a difference so that you can see it goes up smoothly and it comes out of it smoothly. If it doesn't go up smoothly, you can highlight the front of it and then fade in and it'll do the same thing. So we've got a smooth, tiny little sound effect. Now let's export it. So we can save our project. 
or we can just export the audio. So for right now, we're just going to export the audio. We're going to call it whatever you want to call it. It's completely arbitrary, but I'm going to call it kind of what it sounds like, like a whoop, right? Something like that. And then we're going to save it as a 32-bit float PCM. It's a WAV file, and we'll save it into um, whatever folder you want. I've got a little folder for all the custom sound effects I'm making, so you can call it whatever you want. You can give uh, you know meta tags in them and everything. So cool. There we go. We've got it's uh, created an Audacity. We filtered it. Now once we've got that, so we're going to go to sounds. Right click and click on create. We're going to click on the three dots. It should pop up a a little box there and let us select where we want to save it to so we'll just go to where we've saved the sound effects wherever you put it is completely up to you I've saved mine into an audio folder and a sound effects folder so we'll add that little whoop and we'll set the default volume of it to whatever you want you can leave it to uh, to whatever you can leave it at one because we're gonna change the the gain but just because I know it'll be kind of loud, I set the default to 5 just in case I accidentally forget to not to save it. Um, also, since we saved it as a 4800, uh, our, our sample rate uh, as the WAV file is 4800. If we select our sample rate to be 4800, it won't have to spend as much resources converting that audio. So we'll go ahead and set this to stereo since it is two channel. <clears throat> we'll set the bit rate to 192 and the sample rate to 4800. The reason why I'm doing bit rate 192 because that's my sound cards bit rate, kilobits per second bit rate on my audio, but for you it might be different. Um, if you are not sure, you can leave it at 128. We're going to leave it uncompressed, um, but we can compress it if you want to. These sound effects won't make much of a difference. We're just going to call it uh, S and D for sound. We'll use that same naming convention. Underscore uh, whoop. Why not? <clears throat> we'll hit X and that'll save it up there and now we'll replace all instances of laser with whoop and see what our end result gets so let's go ahead and save the project now and do a little test play <laughs> So it's too much, it's definitely less annoying as the first one was, but I don't like how low the pitch is going. So what we're going to do is change our random range from 1 to, let's say, 1.8 and make it more of a higher pitch. <clears throat> it definitely is... Uh, a, a thing you'll have to keep working on to get this, the sound effects just right. Um, I still feel like it needs to be higher. <laughs> but um, I'll probably have to do a few sound effects. But the thing is, when you make a library of sound effects, you can use those sound effects for um, other things. Like, even though we created this sound effect for uh, the laser, maybe we'll end up using this sound effect later for like uh, launching a bomb or something from another uh, spaceship. Or it, basically, what I'm getting at is uh, every sound effect you create, just because it doesn't work for that instance that you're creating it for, don't delete it because you could use that sound effect for something uh, later on. It might be perfect for another thing that you don't even know what that thing is yet. So um, you can build a whole library of your own custom sound effects. And then when it comes to creating games, you can use those sound effects, adjust their pitch, uh, change their volume levels, and so forth and so on. But that's basically it for this tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, this quick tutorial on how to change the pitch, the sound effect, the, the pitch, the, get the volume, and play sounds with GML in Game Maker Studio 2, and how to use Audacity to create your own custom sound effects. And we learned how to... Uh, normalize the audio, we learned how to get noise profiles, and we learned how to do noise reduction, and throw some filters on top of our quick sound effects. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can check out our Discord server if you're interested in uh, getting on getting like uh, real-time support. We have lots of different chat rooms for Game Maker, uh, RPG Maker, and we've got voice chat there as well. But go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye-bye.